I'm your guide? Yep. Uh, so it's one wild crafter here with the wooded beardsman and fishing Secret Creek. Secret Creek. Secret Creek, somewhere in uh, south southwestern Ontario. So this is a creek that's been featured on some of Woodbeard's um, videos and he's sharing it with me today as we're out on some other adventures. My first down south adventure. Yeah. So we've switched places this time. Um, so we're gonna try our luck catching some brook trout here. We're gonna get some wild edibles too. We're gonna collect some wild edibles. We were admiring the milkweed uh, flowers, which are just in well these ones don't have them but some of the other milkweed plants have their flower buds coming up and so we're going to collect some of those a little patch of milkweed so to add to our trout and our fritters so you know it's milkweed because it bleeds all the latex and it's getting ready to put out flowers so some of these flower buds are green and they're really kind of ideal as a simmered vegetable at that stage so we'll pick some of those and then some of them have gone just a little bit beyond where I would pick them I don't know if I've just never really eaten them when they've been red or like that but I pick these green ones and I'll boil these just briefly in one change of water, probably, for a healthy veggie. forget where the zoom is on this thing there we go these are black elders so in my area in northern Ontario we get the red elders which are um, reputed to be toxic and here we have predominantly the black elders and they make a really really great um, kind of a champagne so that's my plan with those we'll show you how to harvest the flowers like a pro there's all kinds of black elder so I think I mentioned earlier that I mostly get the red elder uh, up in northern Ontario which is toxic we get some black elder but down here it's in abundance and the difference is that a red elder would have a cluster of flowers in a cone shape and the black elder has um, an umbral like an umbrella an umbral of flowers so these will turn into berries later on which are really great for cooking and eating uh, what I like to do with the flowers is to mix them in with pancake batter and do like an elderflower fritter or they make a really spectacular champagne uh, kind of a wine a bubbly wine which has a, a super unique flavor you can buy elderflower cordial and stuff in, re in grocery stores so people can try it uh, but you can also easily harvest it so I like to do this with a big bucket that is on my chest and then that lets me kind of pull the flower in and harvest it into the bucket and what's neat about these guys is that if you have the right shape of container you can kind of massage the flowers off when they're ready for it if it's too early they won't really come off um, but what happens is if you zoom in on my finger you can see that the flower will come off but it leaves the berry part behind so you can actually harvest the flowers and if they've already been pollinated you can come back and still harvest berries off the same shrub later so you can double dip with this guy these guys some of these are early so for example here these are flower buds that have not opened yet and over here see these ones have that bit of a yellow color to them these ones are the ones I think those are the ones that I did just try and do so these are the ones that are kind of ready to um, come off and what happens is if you pick them gently enough they leave behind let's try and separate one they leave behind the berry making part so I'm gonna go through and just try my luck I see if these guys are, are too early to harvest 
Um, and they're also kind of wet, which makes them difficult to harvest, but there's a way to just kind of, I just brush them along. I don't know if that's on the camera. You kind of brush them against your fingers and lots of the flower petals come off, but you can see lots of the berry making part stays behind. So I always think of that as like a pretty sustainable way to harvest them. Why just picking the tops off now though? Well, they, uh, they're kind of damp for rubbing, rubbing into the container and we've got some other projects that we want to do. So it seemed like a good idea just to pick some tops and we'll dip them in a batter and then fry them. And then we'll have elderflower fritters. And what would you do if you took just the, to the tops off? How would you cook those? Um, it's just the tops, of the, like not a fritter, but a... Just the flower petals? Yeah. Well, I would mix those with pancake batter and maybe just cook them like pancakes and then they would be full of the flowers inside of them. And they'd be good like that too. Yeah, so um, they're probably full of pollen, like protein and... Yeah, and flavor. Yeah, lots of pollen, lots of flavor, I think. They have a... They don't really smell right now, maybe because they're damp, but they do have a really, really nice flavor and a really nice scent. So the wine is really unique. And the way you're doing it now, obviously won't flower anymore, but no, there's plenty of berries around. Yeah, after I showed the sustainable way to do it, I did the less sustainable way. <laughs> but there, there are plenty of them here. It's a, it's a hot spot for them. I got that hang up on uh, on video. Are you filming? You're filming now. Hey. You're filming now. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna edit that part out either. I, I said a bad word. Did you? Good shit. Well, didn't hear it the first time, but I heard it that time. <coughs> We're gonna have to find these fish because last time I had a guest out, I couldn't catch any fish, so maybe it's. He's only sharing these fishing spots now that he's fished them out. That's what's going on. Exactly. Probably get skunked today. Probably. This video will never see the light of YouTube. Here, I'll try my luck. Well, this isn't the best hole. Woodbeard saw on surface and cast to it, and that is a monster. Oh, shit. oh I lost it. Oh, oh. boot full of water. Oh. That's <laughs> beep, beep, beep. That's what this film's gonna sound like. That was great. That was a good brookie, too. That was a super brookie. Oh, man. I'm just gonna zoom in here, Chris. Show me your disappointed face. <laughs> I can only laugh. My boot's so full of water. <laughs> it was right there. You almost got him by hand.
What's going on, Jerry? Well, there was one fish here in your super hole. I saw it come up and taste the worm and then it just backed back where it was. So I cast there a second time and there was no show. It was right there. And there's nothing going after that worm. So maybe Maybe they're here, but they're just really turned on to a hatch right now. Or maybe they're not feeding because of the weather. It's, it's a nice cloudy day, right? Water temperature is good. Levels are a bit high. How many creek chubs have we caught? Zero. Also unusual. How many trout in total? Zero. <laughs> also unusual. Yeah. Except for the one I lost. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty quiet. Did you see me skip my worm out there? Yep. Just sounds like a bush is talking though. Yeah. Can't see you. That's how stealthy I am. I got a bite. Oh! Exciting! Another bite. You might have a hard time setting the hook in there. I got a fish. Oh my gosh! It's a good one. Oh, it's like yours. No! Yeah, nice red one. Really? Yep. Alright, bring it over. All I see is a bush talking. No way. Alright, let's go over here. How exciting is that? Did you get that beautiful skip cast on video? Oh uh, yeah, but you're gonna have to... Well, it's gonna be very exciting to show a bush casting, but... <laughs> Oh, that is a good one. Bring it over. I'm just worried about getting hooked here. Because it's a feisty one too. That is there a good is. one. Look at the colors, eh? That's a beauty. Hold her up. The worm got away, but that little creature chewed part of the worm off. And I don't think that's the same guy, that's a millipede. There's a real battle going on on this mossy log. What you got there? Cattail. So we're going to we'll harvest some of these hearts to cook. And then we have another project on the go, so we're going to make use of these long leaves too. That'll be on the Wooded Beardsman's channel. Ooh. It's a collaboration, but it's going to be totally different episodes. Yeah. Some very slight overlap. We should get a bunch of those. They're actually really good. I find them really sweet. Yeah. A nice, a nice carb. That one's not that sweet, but it's like... Well, that was the worst one you got. Edible. How'd yes. you know? 
just by the look of them. The one I ate was good. Yeah, that one's okay. So we'll pick like uh, 20. Sure. Okay. That one's up good. You gonna talk about how you pick them? I just grab them and then pull. <laughs> so you want more detail than well, that? Well, you grab eh? the middle, right? There, yeah, there's a little so, bit of trick. You can't just so. grab it by the outside. <laughs> the whole plant will come up. Well, yeah, you grab it. It's so, not, you're not getting the root, you're getting the core out. So here. if we, if you kind of, if you spread them and then get like the middle four leaves maybe and pull straight up, then you're getting the most, ten like I, I messed up on this one. I pulled out kind of the whole core, but these ones here, you're just getting the tender, Tips, and then they're kind of like a leak or something, right? Like they're good up to about you never really know. Yeah, and everyone's a little different. Then they're too fibrous. Yeah, and all you do is cut the fiber out and take the uh, the uh, soft core in. Yeah, we'll just cut the ends off them. Yeah, cook them up. There it is. When Jeremy came up from the north to fish at my spot and he was lucky enough to catch a fish. The fish that I caught was another good brookie about the same size and it got away. So as an experiment Jeremy is going to eat the part you normally eat, the meat part, and I'm going to eat everything else that you don't normally eat. The guts, the stomach, the organs, the brain. You want to watch the rest of the video catching the fish. Go over to One Wild Crafter, give him a sub. You'll have the catching and the cooking and some other wild edibles to go along with it. So most people eat this part I'm gonna eat this part thunderstorm let me the camera pick that up. Really yeah. Butter loss there. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna flip my guts over so I don't, don't get overdone. <laughs> Nobody likes overdone guts. No. Nobody likes underdone guts either. Good. All right, you want to do that? Yep. Maple syrup on the cattail. Yeah. Yep. Oh, are you how much? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, a lot. I'm hungry. <laughs> that looks good. Mm, my finger tastes like a porcupine. A porcupine. Is that a spoiler? <laughs> yep. Porcupine. Mm, what could that mean? You want all that? 
Uh, just a bit. That's good. Good to start. Those? Yep. But they're not fritters. They're milkweed. All oh, right, the milkweed. Flower pods. You want know, to scoop some out there? Yeah. So that's a that fish is. <laughs> that looks good. I get. Oh, I should dunk dunk that head in there. Yeah. And that's my creek chub. Winning. Oh, you get all of that pink meat. Yeah. A little bit. Are oh, you gonna be nice? Yeah. Alright. Thanks. You're welcome. You want some of my creek chub? Sure. <laughs> yeah, for real? Sure. Thanks. You got the tail. Pick that weed. I like milkweed. The cat tail? It has a slimy texture to it. Mm hmm It's like a slimy leek. Yeah, slightly sweet. Well, wow. it's oh. got maple syrup on it. I don't know, it does count. Hmm. But I think it would be a little bit sweet anyway. Yeah, when you eat a raw, dude. I want to try a leek. Sure. I haven't tried the leeks yet, and I don't know if I put that up on my channel yet, but if it's not yet, it's coming. Yeah, it'll Maybe. come out before the this video comes well, out? Well, probably not. Maybe it's a future thing, I don't know. It's not like a hot topic, like how many people want to pick leeks? leeks? Tons. R not right now. Oh, yeah. It's not timely. Not timely. We get all our seasons late, so. I haven't tried these. I don't know. They might taste like s -word. They smell like S word. Do they? Spicy. Yeah? Brian. Is that too much? No, no. It smells good. You oh. can be honest, if they're if they're bad, it's because somebody gave me bad directions. <laughs> oh, who, who would that be? The internet. Oh. I would eat the S word out of those. So that's good? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm a little scared because yours were good. Those are good. They're good. Mm -hmm. They're crunchy. They're new, right? This year. This year. Probably yeah, your microphone can hear the crunch. Yeah, they're good. Okay. They're really good. Yeah, they're good. Yep. I'm not happy with that. We're we gonna film us eating rice, or are we gonna? Cut our clip to your video. The rest is just rice. And we didn't do the we didn't do the fritters. No, that'll be some some other time. Some other time. The exciting part about the rice is we're gonna pour the rest of this butter on top of it. And that's that.